Hi, this is Vec. In this tutorial, we'll look at interfaces in Java. So let's jump to the example part. Here, let's create an interface called Swimmable New. And here you can see we have Java interface. So let's name it Swimmable. Swimmable. And the package is com.firstlearner.interfaces and let's click on finish so here you can see we have got a public interface swimmable so this interface keyword is used to define that swimmable is an interface so let's give it a method let's give it a void swim method and an interface contains only the abstract methods, that is, which do not contain any implementation. So an interface is a 100% abstract way of telling what methods to be implemented by the class that implements this swimmable. So you can see an interface as a contract between class and the interface. So whichever class implements this interface have to implement the methods given in the interface. So here we have only one method that is void swim. So if we try to create some implementation under this interface, let's try to do it. Let's have a void. Let's have an arbitrary method display. And let's try to assault something ABC. So here you can see we are getting an error that interface methods cannot have a body. So even if you put nothing between these curly braces and do a save here, you will get an error over here that interface methods cannot have a body. So let's remove this and we are good with only one method that is swim. So now let's create a class here, new Java class and name it duck finish and here in the duck let's have it implement the swimmable interface so to implement the swimmable interface what we need to do is put implements implements so implements is a keyword that is used to extend the interface so the name is swimmable so here you can see this is giving an error which is saying duck is not abstract and does not override abstract method swim and swimmable. This is the same error that we have got when we haven't implemented methods in the abstract class. So this is a compulsion in both the abstract classes and the interfaces that we need to override each method that is defined within the interface or the abstract. So let's click over here and implement all abstract methods. So here we got the implementation of swim, which is default given by the NetBeans. So let's move this and let's put a duck can swim s out. Duck can swim on the water or we can say float. And now let's have another class. Let's right click new java class and name it crocodile crocodile and here let's have it also implement the implements swimmable so now click this and implement all abstract methods let's remove this and put over here s out and crocodile can swim underwater so we are having two different implementations of this swim method, one in the crocodile class and other in the duck class. So this is a good way of using the same interface and different implementations. And in the main.java that I have created here, let's have a duck, duck equals new duck. And let's have duck dot swim. And also let's have a crocodile, crocodile 
croc equals new crocodile and also have the croc dot swim and let's have a shift f6 over here and here you can see we are getting ducks can swim on the water and crocodiles can swim underwater so this is working perfectly and since swimmable is an interface and it is a hundred percent abstract way of defining something so we cannot have constructors over here now one more thing that i want to tell over here let's have another interface new java interface and let's have a flyable flyable interface now what this flyable interface will do it will have one method called fly so void fly and here sorry i have put a body away this is an abstract method because interface only can have an abstract method so a crocodile cannot fly so it won't be implementing the flyable but a duck can fly as well as can swim so if we put a comma over here and do a flyable over here flyable this won't give any error and it is giving a compile time error because i haven't implemented the methods of flyable so if i do implement all methods here i am getting let's s out duck can fly so now here you can see this duck class is implementing two interfaces whereas we have seen when we extend a class we can extend only a single class but implementing more than one interface is good for java and this is a good way to have more functionality for one class now if you remove this let's remove all of this and here you can see we are getting the same error but if we make it an abstract class abstract and here you can see we are getting no warning because now what it is doing everything that is within the swimmable and the flyable is inherited in the duck so any class that will be implementing or extending sorry not implementing but extending the duck class will have to implement all the methods that swimmable and flyable have so let's create another class let's create a class over here let's say a and finish it and if we do a uh, extend over here extends it will be extending duck so duck and here you can see we are getting error a is not abstract and the same warning so we have to click over here and implement all abstract method so here we are getting the override method the swim and the fly methods even though we don't have an implements over here but a duck is having an implement and it is an abstract class we need to override these two methods so now let's go back to the duck class and put it back to normal here so now let's see some of the small things that i need to tell over here let's go to the interface swimmable here you can see this method is a void swim method so the compiler will look at it as abstract void swim not abstract void swim but as this public abstract void swim so this public and abstract keywords are automatically implicitly given by the compiler and we do not need to return then the code so we remove this and if we try to make it private this will be giving an error modify private not allowed here and also if an interface need to have variables it can have a variable so let's have an int where and here you can see we are getting error because we need to initialize the variable at the same point where we have declared it so let's do a 10 over here now it is not giving an error but do remember if we have given an instance variable over here this is not considered as an instance variable but as a constant so this is implicitly given public static final int var 10 so these three modifiers are implicitly given by the compiler 
so we cannot change the value of var anywhere so let's try to change the variable in this duck because it is implementing the swimmable so if we try to do a var equals 20 this will give an error so this is a constant and we cannot change this value over here so let's remove this and also from here let's remove it and yes an interface can extend more interfaces so if we do a extend over here sorry extends over here we can extend the flyable flyable in this so since this is extending an interface this is absolutely right but if we try to extend a class this will give an error so if we do a a it extend a it will give an error that it will say interface expected here and also this may extend more than one interface so if we do comma runnable runnable is an interface provided by java that will be used in the threads section so this won't give an error it is in contradiction to the thing that I have said in the interfaces that we can extend only one class but here we are seeing that an interface here that similar interface is extending more than one interface so don't get confused if you see something like this it is extending two interfaces so let's remove this and I think we are done with the interface and yeah one more thing let's go back to the main over here and here let's have over here let's have a reference to a interface let's have a swimmable swimmable s so this is a reference to an interface but if we try to do a equals new swimmable this will produce an error because it is abstract and cannot be instantiated but what we can do an interface can have a reference so any class that is implementing this interface the object of that class can be taken over so if we take duck this is our object reference of the duck class so if we try to do s dot then it will give a swim method over here and the swim method that is implemented by the duck will be called so let's try to see shift f6 and the third one over here you can see duck can swim on the water and if we change this duck to a croc that is this object reference of the crocodile we'll get the method swim method implementation of the croc object so shift f6 and here you can see crocodile can swim underwater so this is the same as having a superclass reference this is the same for the interface interface can have a reference to any classes object that implements the interface so this is all for the tutorial and see you next time